Gentrification is a phenomenon when new businesses and residents move into a lower income area, taking advantage of the prices and eventually causing a rise in living expenses. In an article published by BBC News, prices in the United States are rising at their fastest rate in almost 40 years. In downtown Phoenix, home prices have shot up 130% in the past decades while incomes only increased by 22%, according to an Arizona Central news story. These rising prices are affecting local artists in downtown Phoenix. Nyla Lee is one artist that has noticed this change in Phoenix. In the last year or so, uh, I've had to consider raising my prices because of like housing and because of the cost of everything. Living downtown is important for like me as an artist because that's where you get to know people and that's where you like, you know, word of mouth and like that's, you know, like that's where you build your community. But as far as like it affecting my business, I think the only thing would just be like having to like potentially increase my prices just to be able to like find living in downtown a little bit easier. TJ Brendel is an artist and a business owner of a local skate shop on Roosevelt Row. He originally owned an art gallery in 2019, but after the pandemic, TJ and his girlfriend Becky decided to open a skate shop that sold a variety of different products, including skateboards, clothes, art pieces, and more. Their store has now been open since last February. We thought we could turn this store into a viable, you know, like business that could actually make some money so I was able to quit my job last October oh, cool. uh, but yeah I think uh, it is difficult to get your art out there uh, but we figured apparel was an easy way to do that or at least an easier way mm -hmm. so but we also still wanted to showcase the, the traditional art yeah. and, and be very involved in the art community downtown here so I don't think we could function as a store outside of downtown we love it down here we moved down here about six years ago for that reason, we wanted to be involved in the art community, you know, so, um, so yeah, I think uh, we could maybe survive in another place, but it definitely helps that we're in the art district and we get to be involved in things like First Friday, so, yeah. Despite the downsides in living expenses, TJ offers his view on why he thinks gentrification can be a good thing. I mean, I see, I see where artists are coming from, um, you know, the, the lack of galleries and, you know, some showcase stuff, um, but... If you look at it from an uh, aspect of, if you do want to try to make money doing your art, what better way than to have more people come down here? More businesses, more, you know, residents, you know, we're able to showcase our stuff on this row now because so many people are coming down here because they know it's a destination. They've got bars, restaurants, hotels, and, you know, apartments, and, and there's more and more people walking by. And I think five, six years ago, we wouldn't have been able to get away with something like this. It would have been dead down here. So I think that there is a healthy balance, and I think that the people developing down here, they know the history. I think Roosevelt Row, CDC, does a really good job. Evans Churchill Neighborhood Association does a really good job of reaching out to these businesses that are coming in and saying, hey, this is the history of Roosevelt Row. It's very artist community, uh, very based in art. And I think as long as that we can keep that balance, I think it's a good thing. To be honest with you, for, for me personally, I think it's a good thing. With the ongoing changes in downtown Phoenix, both Nyla and TJ have adapted and benefited from the new development and rising prices. They believe that with hard work, local artists can still prevail from gentrification.